Now, on the other question, on Mr. Kazarian's um, point, um, Mr. Kazarian uh, uses a method which certain which companies definitely use, but countries do not. I mean, we are we, we are in, uh, in in the eurozone in Europe. Um, Eurostat. Uh, provides the rules. It's the ESA definitions of public debt. Um, it, it is mostly financial debt, gross on net. It does not include real assets. Of course, uh, the result would be different if uh, it was a definition using both assets and liabilities of the state. Uh, but uh, we have not uh, arrived at, at, at that point yet. Uh, there was an effort in the past, both by academics and policy makers, but uh, the difficulty in measuring public assets, values, um, discourage people from, from using this method. I mean, we, we, we can use, for instance, privatization and monetization of, of public assets to reduce financial debt that we go on to. The other, the, the other uh, points made by Mr. Kazarian that uh, we should look at, uh, at the present value, etc. in a way, the new definition of sustainability that Nicola um, uh, talked about, that is uh, amortization and interest payments to be below a certain level, okay, it's, it's a more realistic, perhaps, um, use of a definition of sustainability. And it comes closer, perhaps, uh, closer to Mr. Kazarian's views, uh, especially because now, as uh, Nicola and Declan said, actually, yeah, it is true that we enjoy very preferential terms. Uh, we must be very honest and say about that. And this is, uh, this is an evidence of cohesion in the European Union that Greece now is able to borrow or was able to borrow in the past at very preferable uh, preferential terms. Uh, interest rates of, uh, on average, about 1.7 per percent. It's one of the lowest in the Eurozone. Uh, so uh, this, uh, this approach is Mr. Kazarian's approach, I think. Mm -hmm.